Identity is what makes you who you are. Race, gender, ethnicity, socioeconomic background, sexual orientation, all your identity markers shape how you perceive the world, but also shape how others perceive you. So identity work in a classroom is very important because it builds a level of trust. Students feel safe to be who they are. Identity portraits are a project that allows kids to express their own identities. Basically, I give them a piece of paper, I give them colored pencils, markers, crayons, and I tell them that they're gonna draw a portrait of themselves. They draw like their head and their shoulders, and then they draw a line down the middle of their face. Then I tell them to color one side, like the skin tone, the jacket or shirt that they're wearing. And then on the other side, I want them to add in their identity markers. And kids kind of tell their own story. They tell me who they are through a picture. One of the things that kids take away from our discussions is the difference between visible and invisible identity markers. If you walked up to somebody in the mall, could you tell that they are in a certain identity group? So people can see that I wear glasses. So that would be signifying that I'd have a disability. Um, my skin color could be a signifier as far as my racial or my ethnic identity. Invisible markers, those are ones that either the person likes to keep hidden or that you just are unsure of. One invisible identity that I stress is mental health. A lot of people, you don't know that they're bipolar, depressed, those types of things. I talk about ethnicity, languages spoken, also race sometimes because some people are mixed race. We talk about religion. You don't know who somebody worships when you see them walking down the street. Also, we have a lot of great conversations about sexual orientation and the spectrum of gender. And so then we talk about perceptions of people and how when we assume our biases and our prejudices creep in at the same time. After we uh, finish the identity portraits, I put their projects on the wall so they see them every day and know that all those identities are accepted in this place. It's a really big growth point for a lot of kids that they are able to be comfortable with who they are and recognize and respect the identity markers of anybody.